Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Now I'm recording this video before the playoff game between the Broncos and the Patriots. And as you can see, I'm clearly, including my fingernail polish, a Broncos fan. I'm all in, go Broncos. Now by the time you see this video, however, I'm either gonna be very happy or very sad. I'm certainly hoping for happy. But today I'm gonna to make you happy by sharing with you a tip that will hopefully make your AutoCAD life a little bit easier. If you've ever worked on a drawing where part or all of it was angled and you found yourself doing this, <laughs> you might find your life would be a lot easier and your neck will be so much better. If you simply rotate the UCS, let's move the UCS. I really wish it was down here in this corner of the drawing down here and let's rotate it so it's so much easier to draw relative to that corner of the drawing file. It's gonna make your life so much easier. So easy to do too. Let's go into the UCS command and I'm gonna zoom in on here and I'm gonna make sure that I get just the right location. I wanna grab that corner. Okay, that's where I want my new zero, zero, zero to go. And then select a place where you want the X to go. I'm gonna do nearest to that line. And it doesn't need to know where Y is, it knows it's 90 degrees away from there. It just needs to know what angle you want your UCS to be at. I wanna keep it in the plane that it's in. I'm only working in 2D, so I'm gonna hit an enter for accept. And it's a little difficult for you to see. I mean, if I grab this and I erased it, you can see that it definitely moved the X, Y, moved the, moved the UCS, and let's undo that though. I need to be quite that violent to show you, I'm sure. <laughs> so, And let me just show you how this works. I'm going to go into the line command, and I'm going to say I would like to start a point. I'm going to say 10 in the X and 0 in the Y, and you will see. Probably have to zoom out. Just no, I don't have to zoom out. Here we go. And you will see that it is drawing relative to my rotated UCS and relative to that corner. And you can even turn your ortho on to make sure that you're drawing using the correct angles because now my ortho has been modified because my UCS has been rotated. All right, so that's one way of doing it. It's kind of, to me, that's the easier way of doing it, but let's, let's put it back, let's go back. So our UCS is back where it was to begin with. Okay, I just put it back to the world coordinate system, but I like to work hard. And you will see that if you want to, you can also click on the UCS and you'll see that you get some cool options. I want to move and then I want to align it. All right, so this is another way. This is for those of you who like to be very visual and you don't want to go into any AutoCAD commands. So I'm going to grab that same corner and then I'm going to go ahead and grab this, one of the X or the Y, whichever is easier for you, and I'm going to rotate it visually, dynamically. So you can do that as well, same results get to the same thing. Now, after working on the drawing for a while, you might find you're still doing this. <laughs> it would be so nice if you could align the view as well, right? That's easy to do. We're gonna go in the plan command and we're gonna use the default of current and you will see that it rotates it for you. Easy enough? And if you wanna put it back, no problem. You can go back into the UCS command. We're gonna put it back to the world coordinate system. We'll go back in the plan command and we'll put that back to current or you can do that world, whatever makes you happy. And you'll see we're back to where we were to begin with. But in the meantime, I was able to easily reference that corner and I didn't have to figure out all those crazy angles in my head. And I didn't have to give my chiropractor any extra money. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you back here in two more weeks. And in the meantime, go Broncos.